we are here to present charter certificates, induct new members, and give awardees, deserving awardees, their rights. In honor of our incoming president, the charter president of Roti Club of Asaba Blue Waters, who happens to be the charter, you know what that means, the first president. She might be the only one to bear that title throughout the lifetime of this club. It's a good thing that another club is coming up in Asaba, that is the Roti Club of Asaba Blue Waters. What it means is that it's, it creates an additional opportunity for Rotary to do more work in Asaba area and the environment. Rotary is all about the service above self. Okay. That's all Rotary is about, not the swag though. So that. just put your money together, motiv mo motivate and mobilize others in the society, put the money together and help. My mom is the chartered president, so I'm excited. She's a, a trailblazer, she's a goal getter. She's full of charity, packed full with God's goodness. So I wasn't surprised when uh, they invited her to be president of this great association. I know she has been a Rotarian since, and now she's been the chartered president of Blue Waters. I think it is a great thing, and it's going to be great. Charity is about giving back. It's about, um, well, giving back. I think that's the best way to put it. The spiritual part of it is the charity, happy hands, because charity is the basic and fundamental element in Christianity. So when any group that does such a thing should be celebrated. This club is made up of very reputable men and women who are ready to work. We have chosen some projects which I announced and we're going to do them. We're going to do water projects, we're going to do education projects. And we're going to do, in particular, School of the Disabled. It's all about uh, charity and service to humanity. It's a busy day and we are happy that we are being chartered today. It's a great thing. And I know that Rotary, uh, Rotary Club of Asaba Blue Waters, we move to a very high level. That's ourselves that we are going to reach the unreached. We are going to speak for those that cannot speak for themselves. We are going to be voiced to those that are voiceless. We are going to reach interior places that others have not reached. You see that we, need, we want to touch lives. We have set out projects that we want to embark on. So once this uh, money comes in, we'll start touching lives. So I have always loved what they do, and that is the reason behind my coming to join them. Charity, that is their, that is what they are known for. I'm so happy being a chartered member. I've been longing to be, be with the road and to be a Rotarian. But I thank God I have an opportunity to be among the chartered members today. But I pray that um, she succeeds on her tenure. Um, it's not easy to be a leader, everyone knows that, but with um, teamwork, um, with them generating nice resources, I'm sure they're going to make it. New members and their charter presidents, uh, they are quite new and they will learn as time goes on. It's not easy. A prayer for them is that God will come to bless them, give them the grace to come to help the less privileged in the society, especially my sister, Chief Mrs. Vero Osuhan. Actually a member of the Abia State House of Assembly and I represent the Kwano State constituency. So it's an honor and a privilege for me to have been recognized far away in Asaba and be given such um, an honor. So I'm happy and um, I'm actually delighted. Well, first and foremost, what we wanted to achieve was to get this done. Um, the issue of uh, achievement, achievement is relative. Sometimes achievement could be financial, sometimes achievement could be, can we do it? And we did it. It's been a very successful event. Um, we know in these times it is difficult for people to come and spend money. I want to thank our Rotarian friends, I want to thank the families, and in particular, I want to thank those who walked in here today and gave us money for our project. Thank you very much.
to live. 